Okay, we're continuing our throttle body injection uh, request videos. If you can't leave me alone for a minute, it's amazing. So, what did we do this time? Well, all I did is I took the 194 and the 15 and I put a little bit better valve job on them. I put a little bit of a radius on our exhaust leading into its third cut. And I did a crappy polish on the exhaust. We'll find out if that helped. Let's take a look. As far as the chamber goes, it looks pretty good. I notice we do have a little bit more at that leading edge than usual. Not bad there. Let's take a look at the bore. Okay, the bore has changed. It definitely is wider than it was before. Still got a lot of drip I'm not thrilled with. Okay, I also changed the back cut and face cut on this. I made the face cut narrower because our seat is now larger and narrower. So they match better. Uh, as far as our liquid on this, not bad. I think it's a little narrower than it was. And I think it's a little narrow in the bowl. It does go pretty high into the bowl. Overall, I don't think that's bad at all. Now remember, this is, you know, two hours of porting and uh, a decent valve job. I, I didn't go off the deep end and make it super fancy or anything. They're still both 45 seats. I want to make it something that uh, is easily replicable. Okay, guys? Okay, I do believe that is much closer to the roof of the port than we have been getting. And it's very interesting because you'll notice the roof speeds really went up a lot with this uh, this change, which is kind of interesting. You can see it go right up into the, the chamber. Looks good. Okay, you can see I put a thin top cut on. I shrank our 45 up a little bit and I put our, I did our radius and then I hit it with a burr a little bit and then I went over it real fast with a, a sand roll. You can still see it's, it's not fully polished, but it's a, a lot smoother to the touch than it was. I'm going to find out if that makes a difference or not. I mean, I can see, I can see I missed part of the radius there on the left. No big deal. Trying to trying to get this done in a timely fashion for you guys. Okay, nothing fancy in there. Just uh, increase it where it needs to get the air speeds pretty close. They're definitely better than they were. Somebody wrote in and said uh, they wanted to know what kind of camera I'm using. I don't even know, guys. It's a relatively late model Samsung. Galaxy, I think. It does have a decent camera on it. It's, I'm not thrilled with the pause button or the focus, but if I keep hitting focus as we're doing it, it's not bad. Okay. Second cut was rough out porting, and then I did some chamber work. This time, third cut Valve job, exhaust radius, light polish, and I forgot to write in that I redid that, uh, I cut that intake valve. Okay, so these pluses and minuses are in reference to these. How do we do? Well, we got a noticeable kick in the, in the low, low lift, probably because the valve job is a little bit nicer, right? I would, I mean, that's all it can be. And the, and the valve has got uh, some work done to it. So we're up. We lost a touch at 200. Up, up, up. A lot of these gains are not big, okay? Up, up, up. And then we're almost, almost dead even up top, okay? Because things didn't... Ch Once you lift the valve that much, the valve job isn't... doesn't have that much more... have, have as much of an effect, okay? So our swirl curve changed quite a bit and it's kind of interesting notice these two 
they're negative. They actually spin the opposite direction, which means, let's take a look at the chamber and I'll show you. Okay, got a one-handed for you guys. Let's see how we can do. Obviously, with the swirl ramp, is designed to swirl this way, right? So that's our positive direction. Now what's happening, as soon as we crack it off the seat, the short side's more efficient and it actually has more flow coming out this way. Now, having a swirl curve that reverses is not great, but it's at the very, very first low lifts. I'm not, I'm not gonna worry about it at all. If it was right in the middle of the curve, I would think about doing something about it, but it's not. You guys give me some input on uh, whether I'm right or wrong with that. Okay, second cut intake air speeds are here. Third cut air speeds here. Uh, both of them are taking a half inch lift. Plus, 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 plus. Notice how much it went up on the roof. It really gained a lot of air speed on the roof. It gained a decent amount of air speed across the short side radius. Now, this is at 500. It's not that much of a difference at 500. This one is 233, right? That's our second cut. And this one's 235. The airflow is not that different, but the speeds are radically different because it's leaving the periphery of the valve at a different place and with different resistances. So this is exactly why we test, guys. Try to figure these things out. But in any case, I mean, just take a look at our flows, right? In streetable and streetable uh, lift areas, we're, we're pretty good still. And it's a pretty fat curve overall. I mean, it is still 194. Okay, guys. Second cut exhaust. Third cut exhaust. These pluses and minuses in reference to these. Did it like it? Usually it likes my radius. Now remember, the valve job was improved a little bit more. It was brought out closer to the edge of the valve. The valve itself has not been touched. I put that radius on the inside and I gave the port a half-assed polish. So what do we got? Take a look at some of the gains. Very, very low we gained. We got a nice gain at uh, one-tenth of an inch. Another big gain. At 108.7, uh, it has a B. That means it was buffeting. It was, it's like the port's taking gulps, which means it's getting reversion on the bottom. There's so little airspeed at the bottom of the intake, uh, the exhaust port, that it literally starts to come back and it causes turbulence you can hear. So right in this area, it had problems, but it still was doing better than we were over here. All right, at uh, 0.25, we had some noise, and then it cleared up and started to really crank. All right, nice gain, nice gain, nice gain. You know, 190 CFM at 600 is not bad on a 1.5. Put an inch and 5 eighth pipe on it, you get 191. Okay, it's good everywhere compared to what it was. Now, let's check our air speeds and see if it, if it looks like it's better with as far as the air speeds. Okay, top page is second cut, bottom page is third cut, equal, plus, plus, minus, plus, 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 plus. This minus is barely a minus, right? So overall, if we look at it, our speeds got better everywhere, and so did our flows. So that makes sense to me. It even started to come alive at 500 lift on the floor. I mean, the floor is still relatively dead in these two these two uh, spots. That could be improved. But I don't know if I can improve it with a 1.5. I mean, somebody was asking if we can stick a 208 in this. We may have to use a smaller exhaust valve to do it. So I figured I've got this head uh, the way it is. Let's see what we can get out of a 1.5. Now, in reality... I probably could get some more by just stuffing a bigger exhaust board in it. Let's take a quick look at where we are with uh, that exhaust port flows versus our 1.6s. Okay, I think this was about where I quit working on the exhaust port, about the seventh cut. So these are the exhaust port flows we got out of the 
1.6, and these are with the 1.5. All right, at 600, we're down 10. At 500, we're down 9. 8, really. Okay, it's really not bad for a 1.5. Not bad at all. This is a little bit full of curve. But, you know, bigger valve tends to do that. Remember, the bigger valve has a couple advantages. As it's opening, it's, it's, it's giving you more area. Okay, so it's, it's going to blow down better. Now, the important question is, can, will it be worth horsepower to stick with a smaller exhaust valve if you can put a bigger intake valve in remember that one port had that thin spot in that bowl i mean i may cut it for the bigger valve a 208 uh, anyway and just see what we got even if i make a hole in it who cares but uh, i mean with a little searching around for castings you might be able to get away with that let me know if that's something you guys want to see other than that i think we're done with these for today thanks for hanging out guys have a good night.